But we also have some breaking news for you this morning. A big SPAC deal, perhaps the biggest, a company we've been following for quite some time, Grab, is going public via SPAC this morning. The Southeast Asian ride handling company will merge with Altimeter Growth Corp. It's a SPAC. It's uh, funded and uh, founded, I should say, and run by hedge fund manager Brad Gerstner. Uh, the deal values Grab at approximately $39.6 billion, making it the biggest blank check deal ever. After the combination, Grab will trade under the NASDAQ ticker Grab, G-R-A-B. Grab has ranked as high as number four on CNBC's Disruptor 50 list. And this is a huge, huge deal. Uh, and we should tell you that Grab's founder and CEO, Anthony Tan, is going to be joining us right here on the program in just a little bit at 6.30 Eastern, guys. Uh, but um, this is the... This is the equivalent of uh, Uber, I guess, Instacart, and maybe Uber Eats, and some banking. And, I mean, this is, they do everything, and they, they own their market in a remarkable, remarkable way. Uh, and so it's going to be fascinating to see how this, uh, how this trades. You're watching the stock already up about 6% this morning. So reopening trade, too. If you look at Uber's latest uh, yep. numbers, mm -hmm. incredible. Uh, that's that... Uh, when people, when we finally are totally reopened, I think, you know, how bright is the future for, for all these things? Pretty bright, I would uh, say, at this point. It's pretty bright for a lot of them. And I also just a quick comment on this particular transaction. And you know I've been critical oftentimes uh, of SPACs in large part because the sponsors uh, don't stick around. Well, uh, credit and kudos um, to uh, Altimeter and the folks who put this deal together because they've set it up such that they are now in this stock, the mm -hmm. sponsor that is, and they're putting additional money in, $750 million more in today, um, and they're in it for at least three years. And uh, I know we've talked about a lot of, a lot of the way these, these deals are structured so that the quote-unquote sponsor is gone after six months, gone after a year. Um, but you're starting to see, and I, I think maybe this will become a trend, especially given the, the uh, focus on SPACs by the SEC and others, uh, to try to, al to better align the interests. And this is, uh, I would argue, one of the better aligned uh, SPAC transactions that we've seen thus far. Well, the context of, of this transaction is very interesting, given the SEC looking into the issue of warrants and whether on an accounting basis they should be counted as liabilities. We've seen SPACs, uh, either pre-deal SPACs or de-SPAC'd companies in recent days trade not well. I mean, if you take a look at, for instance, the DraftKings, the QuantumScape, the Lordstown Motors, in yesterday's session, they all felt this pressure of, of this potential SEC overhang, which is also backing up the pipeline for SPACs right. to come, because the SEC is supposedly telling some people uh, that they won't approve any other SPAC transactions until this warrant issue is resolved. So there's that trouble in, in SPAC land at this point. But as Joe had mentioned, the context in terms of ride sharing specifically is very bright because of Uber's record monthly transactions. This is not just pre-pandemic levels, record monthly right. Uh, right. demand for riders and, and also monthly bookings, record monthly bookings for food delivery. Um, so it looks pretty bright in terms of this particular space. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.